When you speak with your doctor, he may recommend that you go to a sleep lab for a sleep examination. This video will give you an idea of what you can expect in your sleep lab experience. If everyone slept well each night, there would be little reason for sleep labs and sleep studies. Unfortunately, sleep disorders that can dramatically impact our health and well-being are quite common. Your doctor has recommended that you have a sleep study so that any problems can be identified and treated in the most effective manner. Sleep studies are comfortable experiences that can be quite interesting if you know a bit about what's going on. This video will give you an idea of what you can expect in your sleep lab experience. Sleep studies are done by sleep technicians, or sleep techs. Their job is to make your stay as comfortable as possible while gathering the information needed by your doctor. The sleep tech will be monitoring your sleep from a separate room and will do as little to interrupt your sleep as possible. Sleep techs want you to be confident and comfortable, so please bring any questions or concerns to their attention. Sleep studies involve a recording of sleep called a polysomnogram. To the untrained eye, they look like lots of squiggly lines, but to sleep disorder professionals, they are a moment-by-moment -moment detailed view of your sleep and the basis of an accurate diagnosis. When you arrive in the sleep lab, your technician will measure your height and weight and give you a tour of the sleep lab. Most rooms are equipped with a TV to help patients feel more at home. Rooms are also equipped with infrared cameras and infrared sources so that sleep techs can observe and record your sleep. You may be in the dark, but you are not unseen. It is soon time to get ready for bed. Prepare for tonight as you would any night of sleep. An area for changing, brushing your teeth, washing your face, and other sleep preparation activities is provided for you. Soon your sleep tech will be ready to connect you to a number of devices that will measure your sleep patterns. While getting hooked up, your job is to stay relaxed and responsive to the sleep tech. Your sleep tech is trained to ensure that the process goes smoothly and comfortably for you. Be sure to let them know of any questions or concerns you have during the process. First, your sleep tech will clean areas of the skin that will have sensors applied to them. This process usually uses a scrub that is slightly abrasive, like face scrub. The tech will also measure you for sensor placement using a tape measure. Next, your sleep tech will attach many round-shaped sensors. These sensors are generally pasted on and will be washed off later. The probes on your head measure brain waves, muscle tone, and eye movements. These are useful in determining what stage of sleep a patient is in. The belts around the chest and abdomen, along with sensors near your mouth and nose, measure your breathing. The sensor on your finger or earlobe measures heart rate and blood oxygenation. None of these sensors are painful or difficult to wear. The majority of patients referred for a sleep study by their physician are suspected of having obstructive sleep apnea syndrome, or OSA which makes it very difficult to get restorative sleep and breathe at the same time. Sufferers of obstructive sleep apnea tend to be drowsy in the day, just as anyone who did not get a good night's sleep would be. At night, those who suffer from OSA snore heavily, are restless, and often need to go to the bathroom two or more times. The most preferred treatment for moderate or severe obstructive sleep apnea is continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP. CPAP applies a light air pressure through the nose or mouth. This pressure is enough to keep the airway open so the patient can breathe normally while sleeping. Your technician may show you this equipment and adjust it to fit you before it is time to sleep. If the presence of obstructive sleep apnea is found and documented during the night, the technician may re-enter your room and help you to put on a CPAP mask, which is attached to a CPAP machine. Once you fall asleep again, your technician will wait for you to enter a deep sleep, then gradually increase the pressure the CPAP uses to hold the airway open. The CPAP can end the struggle to breathe during deep sleep, allowing the user to get the sleep and air they need. While you are sleeping with a CPAP machine, the sleep tech will determine and document the minimum pressure necessary to hold the airway open and the CPAP machine's effectiveness in controlling the apnea. Now it is lights out, time to relax and get some rest. Your technician is monitoring your data for quality and any sleep disorders. Their job is to keep you safe while fully documenting your sleep. All those probes you put on are now collecting data that will provide a detailed story of your night's sleep. A definitive diagnosis can be made later by a physician sleep specialist using the data collected. When morning comes, your technician will wake you and remove all probes. The data is gathered and will be organized and scored before being reviewed by a physician specializing in sleep medicine. Your sleep study is the result, a detailed record of your body's sleep along with any diagnosis and treatment recommendations. Please remember that although the technician has monitored your sleep all night, it is only after the data is analyzed by a physician that the diagnosis can be made. When the data has been analyzed from your sleep exam, the doctor will be able to make a diagnosis. He will inform you of what may or may not be wrong and possible treatment options. This video is brought to you by CPAPTalk.com. 
If you are diagnosed with sleep apnea, your doctor will likely prescribe a CPAP machine as treatment. CPAP is the most effective and widely accepted treatment for sleep apnea. Adjusting to your CPAP machine can be challenging, but you are not alone. CPAPtalk.com is an online CPAP community that provides information and support for CPAP users. If you would like help from people who have already adjusted successfully to CPAP treatment, please visit CPAPtalk.com today.